and welcome to Build. I'm Simon Atkins, and as ever, we are coming to you live from London. Now, today, I'm delighted to welcome two of the stars of highly acclaimed BAFTA award-winning BBC Two sitcom Mum. Please put, give your, put your hands together for Sam Swainsbury and Lisa McGrillis. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Now, before Hello. we get started, if you guys at home would like to get involved and ask guys a question, you absolutely can. You can tweet us at Bill Series LDN or leave a comment below this video if you're watching live on Facebook. Hello. Hello. So Hello. series three of Mum is upon us. It is, yeah. It Out starts tonight. tonight. Yes, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. BBC, BBC Two. two. Um, so before we get into that, um, can you give us a recap of where we are catching up from this series? Over oh, to you, Sam. Thank you so much, Lisa. <laughs> Ooh, uh, tough one. Yes, I so we remember. are uh, following on pretty much um, off the back of season two. So uh, uh, this this series around Pauline's divorce settlements come through, and she's um, hired a massive house out in the countryside to celebrate uh, Derek's 50th birthday. So instead of being in the house, um, where we were for the last two series, we're going out into a completely new environment. And this year, it's over six days instead of a year. So it's much more contained, it's a bit more intense. And the storyline that was happening that was being set up at the end of season two is with um, Leslie and Peter, sorry, Kathy and Michael and Jason, is that's kind of taking a bit of a further trajectory. Yeah, the last the time we series. saw them, they were it was bonfire night and okay. they were holding hands. Oh, and Jason saw spoiler. them. Jason did see them and he wasn't best he wasn't pleased. Happy. Maybe a bit confused. Well, we're going to take a look at the trailer for series Great. three. So let's do that now. Mom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> OK, we need to talk about your characters. So Lisa, let's start with you, because you play Kelly, who is absolutely hilarious, but also a little bit annoying. <laughs> Um, what <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> what first drew you, um, you know, what was it like when you first read that script? Yeah, so I have to say when I received the script from um, after reading about two of Kelly's lines, I fell deeply and profoundly in love with her. She's a kind of complex character. Yeah. I think the audience can find her annoying, but I don't like it when they say that. But I she's also very endearing. She's, she's incredibly lovable and, <laughs> um, and endearing. She, she just doesn't really have a filter. She often speaks before she thinks and um, says the wrong thing and then feels really bad about it and says, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, all the time. But yeah, she's a... Uh, She's, it's, it's a fine line with Kelly. The audience have got to like her. They've got to be laughing with her and not at her. And so, yeah, we've, we always had to keep an eye on that. Um, and of course, you play um, Kathy's son, yeah. Jason. What drew you to the role? Um, again, the script. I mean, when something like that comes along, you just jump at it and you just desperately hope that we both audition for it. And, uh, you know, you, something like that comes along and you just desperately hope you're going to get a chance to work on it. So, uh, actually, in fact, when I auditioned for it, I, uh, I didn't think I was right for it. I, I was actually had a bit of an, an, actor's, an actor's tiff on my own <laughs> outside. So, like, I'm not right for this. So I'm not going to get it. <laughs> And then uh, it went in, and, and I was happened to be what they were looking for, which is extraordinary. And the rest has been a fairy tale, really. And did you guys did you meet before you both got in the roles, or well. any chemistry well. reads, or anything like that? No, I. So we we made a pilot first, and I think I was auditioning before you. You were. You were in the room before, and I heard this person being really good, <laughs> and everyone <laughs> like, laughing. Oh and I was like, Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> why am I here? <laughs> Well, to get a bit of a sense of you guys and your relationship um, on screen, we're going to have a look at a clip of you. Okay. It's just another round of applause for the eyes. <laughs> so what are the challenges as actors when you're trying to land those type of comedy scenes? And how much do you, how many times do you have to do those scenes to get them right? A lot. Lisa? <laughs> yeah, um, Stefan... Um, who wrote it and he directed the last two series. He is very meticulous about things. He hears the rhythm of everything everyone says. It's in his head. So until until 
it's right you have to keep on going and we've been known to do about 20 takes of things oh, which is really wow. which is quite difficult when you're eating a digestive biscuit because you're just like i've eaten so many digestive biscuits now <laughs> just to keep and the now sugar they, yeah that's it now they're going to turn it around onto you sam and then i've got to eat them again so you know 40 <laughs> digestives later i'm like not only feeling sick but just like oh this isn't even funny anymore but how do you keep that scene fresh then you know what like do you you know what i mean and well it's our job <laughs> yeah, very true well, is, yeah is there improv in involved in none. any of these scenes absolutely, absolutely not. none no no like <laughs> stefan is is he is a genius i think that he is he's an extraordinary man with an extraordinary talent and he like you said he knows he, he's gone to so much detail in preparation for the shoot so he's had uh, floor plans and he's mapped out where everyone is and each scene has a you know you might have an apple and that apple is then brought through to another room but that room that scene is filmed two weeks later so and, and so mapping all of those details out he's done to an absolute t so like you say he knows he kind of knows what he wants or knows how it could be at its best an example of that yes. was um in that clip there for example you know yeah. i pull the rosebud off the tree i don't know whether you noticed that but yeah. i mean all of that is is ev each, yeah no but the stage so directions scripted. are all that needs to be pulled off at this time and then i sniff it at this point and then pass it at this point mm. oh, wow. so if you're when you're trying to remember your lines and also trying to do that oh god and they were having to um super glue the rosebud <laughs> back onto the uh, little stem it was neil wasn't it <laughs> yeah. neil did some extraordinary work in the art it's department like there glue rosebud <laughs> have digestive do the scene again <laughs> yeah, yeah it's all written right. it's light sometimes it yeah. i should be an actor <laughs> um, <laughs> we've had a, a social question come in from charlene on twitter she says, both of your characters come out with some priceless things in the show, which you um, always deliver brilliantly, by the way. Do each of you have a line, a particular scene that stands out to you as a favourite? That's a tough question. It is over, a tough question because they series. are always so good as well. I've got a favourite line, I oh, think. Oh, there we go. go have you it. got one? Um, um, you go, I'll try and think of one. <laughs> right, okay, I'll try. You go first. Um, I think it was um, a series one christmas and um kelly describes herself as being sadder than the sisters of lazarus <laughs> like, that's, that's a good one that was my favorite she she found yeah. the bible read it back to back and um yeah made friends with a 90 year old person mm. at church nice <laughs> nice what about you um well i just i thought of one but i don't know if i can say it this time on uh, on the internet but it's talking about uh uh, <laughs> sexual positions. <laughs> I don't know if I can talk about that. Maybe of course not. you can, mate. This is but, online. All right. Okay. Great. Great. But he's talking about how he thinks a missionary position is his favourite position because you know it's, it's not it's not very lardy da, but you know there's no nonsense and you don't get cramp and you know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I can't remember. It, but um, there's a lot of love on social for you guys. Actually, we've got another oh, one from um, Kathy on Facebook who says, "Who is the most mischievous cast member?" So there must be a lot of fun on set, but who's who's the one who's Leslie's doing quite the naughty, isn't she? She can be naughty, yeah. She can. When, once she's done her bits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, maybe that's surprising. But Leslie Manville is quite naughty yeah. on set. Yeah, she's got a twinkle in her eye. Let's talk about her for a minute because she obviously plays the title role of Kathy, and she is her character is like you know endearing, warming. She's just lovely, isn't she? Which is kind of a departure from um, other roles that she's played. Mm. What is it like to work um, with her? And, you know, does she bring the whole thing to, to kind of I mean, this is, this is going to be a bit uh, gushy, but honestly, she's the most, one of the most inspiring people and actors I've ever met and had the privilege to work with. I honestly cannot fault her in the way that she carries herself on set, the way she treats everyone else, the way she does her job, the way she still has fun, the way she mm. is. She welcomed us with open arms. We were filming not far from her house and we'd live quite a long way from where we were filming. So she'd invite us back. We'd stay oh, that's over. That's so nice. We're generally like one, I think season two, we had one night a week, we had a sleepover. Uh, oh. her house. She She's actually, I had, a, I had a little a five month old baby at the time and was doing that awful commute. And oh, she, yeah, she moved. My mum, my dad, and my <laughs> five-month-old baby, because my husband was working in Budapest, into her house so we could be near the set. I mean, that's... That, that's so that, she's yeah, kind of like Kathy nice. in that way. She just makes sure everyone's all right. You know, yeah. she's uh, a, 
a wonderful human. Yeah. Um, another Twitter question um, from Louise. If you had to play another character in the show, who would you choose? Pauline. Pauline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, she's so much she's fun. Absolutely she's amazing. Brilliant. She gets some absolute... Well, they all do. Also, maybe maybe Reg, maybe Carl's part, the granddad. He gets some absolute uh, cracking lines. They're very bitter, those two yeah, characters, aren't yeah. they? Just quite, yeah, really quite They're nasty. angry with the world, and that's... That, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. There's, there, the, the cast on this is, is absolutely amazing. And it's, you know, peop, people love this series, don't they? And obviously, mm. you guys, you know, you were nominated for... Um, a BAFTA and you guys have won a BAFTA. Um, why do you think people keep coming back to this series and why do they love it so much? It's been a slow burner. I feel yeah. like the first series went a little bit under the radar and then they and then the second series, people really found it. But there's only ever been love for it, really. Like the reviews and have always been really positive. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's a case of people finding it. Box sets are good for that, aren't they? They've, yeah. they've put it on uh, back on iPlayer, both the first and second series, if you haven't seen it. They've put the box sets on. And I think, you know, you can binge watch it. It's a really easy watch. And I think it, it makes you feel it, really it, nice. It is. There's a real uh, feel good factor to this. But, you know, I mean, the subject matter is it's based around grief, isn't yeah. it, really? Um, you know, how does this show, um, you know, bring the, the funny side of, of kind of like grief to, to life because I suppose it looks at you know it, it lightheartedly doesn't it yeah I, I think well that's what people do in life I think you know when people lose things and I, I lost someone in my family a, a couple of years ago and and there are you, you find those moments of real uh, humor within that because you have to that's it's, it's a way of dealing with it and it's a way of way of getting through it and I think that's one of the going back to your other question why it um, I love that photo of YouTube one. it's such a great oh, photo of why um uh, why it speaks so uh, uh, to so many people, why it's been so successful, is because I think he's captured something, in in essence, so so real, um, and that's uh, the, that's what and it's, it's real life, and that's how people behave, and that's why I think it's so brilliant. Um, let's talk a little bit about Kathy's uh, about Kathy in this series and her relationship with um, Michael, played by the awesome Peter Mullen. What um, where does their relationship go this season? And what can you tell us without giving too much can away? We say much? I don't know how much we can say, really. Mm. I mean, they're, it's famously a slow burner, their relationship. Yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously at the end of the second series, they've held hands, so, um, and their relationships obviously got to that point. And then we're seeing them now, I think it's about four months later. So, uh, yeah, we're catching up with them there and how, how their relationships developed to that point. Is it, if it, well, it's, there's quite a lot in the first episode isn't mm. there yeah, uh, there's, there's uh, yeah. a lot of reveals yeah, yeah. Within so, the first so very minutes. quickly you find out where yeah. you know where they've been for the last four months and where they are together um, and then it develops from there um, and of course this is season three so is this definitely the last series yes. <laughs> 100 yes. percent. yep there's not going to be a season four nah. nope I feel like I think I was saying to <laughs> Stefan at the BAFTAs on Sunday, I was like, we need to revisit them in like 10 years time to yeah, see where they all amazing. are. You know, just I think that would be fun. Kelly and Jason with their eight kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, maybe I'll, I'll wait until I need like a loft conversion and then I'll write another series. <laughs> um, what are you guys going to miss about this series? I mean, so much. Not that whole thing, really. There's not the only thing I really don't like about this job is my haircut. <laughs> that, th that's the one thing I, I really uh, struggle with for eight weeks. Um, and other than that, the, the the company we're really close. We are we are we are a family, and we are. Yeah, see, there we go. God, look at that. That, <laughs> that is, is horrendous. Also, let, oh, let's have a look at his shirt as well in that picture. Oh, look at that chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, okay. an awful photo, Sam. That is horrendous. <laughs> I've never seen that before, and hopefully I'll never see it again. Um, but we, the, 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 so the, we're all really good friends. We are very close. The material is is extraordinary. Um, so we're going to miss everything about it. And and the response, the response from people, the response from the public when it goes out is is second to none. Yeah. It really is a privilege to be a part of something like this. Well, we've absolutely loved it, and we can't wait to see what Thank happens you. in this series. Thank Best you. Best look at it. Thank um, Thank before so I go, much. is there anything else that you guys are up to in the future that you can tell us about? Ooh. 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 Oh, 
it's difficult, isn't it, Sam? When <coughs> when you're told not to say, uh, no, there's a, a, a few say, things in the pipeline. Oh, loads. So, loads. Yeah. I mean, we're really in demand right now. So so <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's casting anything, I'm unemployed. <laughs> so um, <laughs> no, we've got a couple of things we're not allowed to talk about them just yet. But okay, uh, but yeah, hopefully yeah. we'll see you guys on screen or stage. Yes. Very soon. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. Thank, on, thank you. Thank you. Really great. you. Oh, yeah. thank Sadly, you. that's all we've got time for with Sam and Lisa. But you can watch Mum tonight at 10 p.m. on BBC Two. We're back tomorrow with Sophie Rundle from Gentleman Jack and The Apprentice winner, Shan Gabadon. So see you then right now, though. Give it up one last time for Sam and Lisa. <laughs> thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you.